Hi, Cooper. It's, uh, it's November 11th. It's Remembrance Day today. And uh, it's also the first uh, big snowfall of 2019 today. And we got Cooper. Uh, Cooper's Klein's dog. He's staying with us for a little while while his uh, family is uh, <laughs> enjoying a vacation. And Ollie is uh, staring at the back door in his winter coat because he wants to go in. And we're just hanging out with the dogs out here. Uh, usually around this time of year, I start getting a lot of clients asking me uh, about dog booties. Now, we don't use dog booties. We tried dog booties on Chickpea when she was young. Yeah, little well, booties. And they didn't stay on her, uh, maybe she has skinny ankles or something, but they, they didn't stay on. Uh, for the last couple of years though, we've just been using paw wax on the dogs. Works pretty well, waxes up the paws, keeps them uh, nice and moist, it protects against the salt. Uh, a big misconception is you've got to protect dogs' paws against the cold. And uh, dogs' paws are pretty good up until like, I don't know, like minus 25. I think the study said minus 30. Um, but they're totally fine in the cold. It's the salt. And living up here in Ontario, we just pound salt all over. I swear, there's like people that just don't even shovel anymore. They just go up and put salt down. And then after the snow melts, there's just mountains of salt you gotta walk your dog over. Oh well, so yeah, paw waxes work great for us. Um, but uh, yeah, you can try booties out and see what you think. But you don't need to protect your dog's paws against the cold. And listen, if it's colder than minus 30, it might not be a great time to take the dog out for a big long walk, you know? All right, I'm gonna get back to uh, hanging out with our dogs here in the snow, watching them run around and play. Hi, little bud. <laughs> Is that enough of the snow, Ollie? Yeah, I guess that's a no. You got a snowy face. 